If you're just getting into Solidity development, I highly recommend using Hardhat rather than Truffle. And the reason is this, console log. Hardhat's console.log allows printing the state of variables inside your functions, like we do with console.log in JavaScript. I've got an empty Hardhat project that I've created here. Let's start by creating a contract. We'll call this contract bank.sol. We'll do the usual pragma solidity. Then we're going to import a console functionality. Our contract is called bank. And we're just going to write one function here. We'll write a receive function. We'll make it external and payable. And then inside it, we're going to use console.log. This allows us to print the value of variables in this function, which is not possible if you're using another framework like Truffle. So let's print the sender address, which is message.sender. And then let's also print the message value, which will be in way. And then we'll do one more where we just use a couple hyphens so that when we hit this function multiple times, we will see this break um, in between sets of sender address and message value. Now let's create a test so that we can actually hit this. We'll create a new folder. It needs to be called test. If you name this tests by accident, it's not going to run any tests when you try to run them. And the name of this will be the same as our contract. So we'll create a new file called bank.js. So we'll do describe bank, open a function, set a variable for our initialized contract, And then we'll open up a before each block. Get contract factory. Us in bank. Now we'll initialize three different addresses with ether. Wallet one, wallet two, and wallet three. And we're using ether's JS here. Then we'll deploy our contract and we'll assign that to bank. Now we'll set up our test. And it should send ether to the contract.
We'll set up the provider. And then from wallet one, which has been seeded with Ether by default, we're going to make a transaction to the address of our contract with a value of 10,000 way. That's how much we'll be sending. And then I'm just going to copy this. And we will also send some way from wallet two, except this time we'll send one million way. Now, if we open up our local terminal, we can do npx hard hack compile just to check that we didn't make any mistakes in our contract. And we did. Let's go fix that. Looks like we forgot a semicolon. We'll run that again. It compiles. Great. And I wrote wait instead of a wait. Let's rerun this. So the test passed. Now, there wasn't really a test there, so we expect this, but Notice that we have the sender address of the first wallet and the way that that wallet sent. And then we have the sender address of the second wallet and the way that that second wallet sent. This can be really useful when you're just starting out and you want to check the value of a variable, if that variable's changed, what it looks like. As a full stack dev, I use console.log all the time writing JavaScript. Now, Solidity contracts are often much simpler than some JavaScript front ends, but if you're just starting out, this can be immensely helpful. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe.